So tech companies are starting to realize they can't just wait around for the government to build more power plants. They're taking matters into their own hands. On the heels of OpenAI recently warning that the US must add about 100 gigawatts per year of new capacity, Google and NextEra Energy just signed a 25 year deal, a power purchase agreement to restart a nuclear power plant in Iowa that's been shut down. It's called the Dwayne Arnold Energy Center. It's gonna generate 615 megawatts of power, specifically to run Google's AI and cloud data centers. They're expecting it to be back online by 2029. Now that's because many of the nation's power grids are already strained and the demand from new power hungry data centers is creating massive backlogs. In some high demand areas, it can take up to seven years or more just to get a new data center connected to the grid. So Google and other major tech players like Microsoft and Amazon, well, they're looking for ways to generate their own power. Bringing a nuclear plant back to life provides a kind of constant 24 seven baseload power that is essential to keep these massive digital AI factories running without interruption. The urgency is amplified by global competition. Last year, China reported adding a staggering 429 gigawatts of new power capacity, while the US added only 51 gigawatts. This growing electron gap, as OpenAI calls it, is seen as a direct threat to America's leadership in AI. Many of the big data center and AI companies recognize that they may lose ground to China in the AI race and therefore are taking matters into their own hands. The typical big AI cluster might draw gigawatts of power when fully loaded. So scaling supply is not optional. To secure their future, tech giants are exploring a range of energy solutions from nuclear power to on-site battery storage. So we may see more tech powered utility style deals in the near future. I'm Vernon Neal Reed, and this is AI Infrastructure Media.